Android Auto crashes can be frustrating, but understanding the common causes helps us fix them quickly. Let's explore the main reasons why Android Auto crashes and how to resolve these issues. The four main causes of Android Auto crashes are outdated software on your phone or car system, compatibility problems between devices, corrupted app data, and poor wired or wireless connections. First, ensure your phone runs Android 6.0 or higher. This is the minimum requirement for Android Auto to function properly. For wired connections, use a high-quality, data-capable USB cable. Avoid charging-only cables. For wireless connections, ensure both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are enabled and stable. To fix app-related issues, clear the Android Auto app's cache and data, verify all permissions are granted, and ensure the Auto Start feature is enabled in the app settings. These initial fixes resolve most Android Auto crashes. Update your software, use quality cables, clear app data, check permissions, and enable Auto Start. These steps address the most common causes of instability. When basic fixes don't resolve Android Auto crashes, advanced troubleshooting steps can help identify and solve deeper issues. Start by performing a complete system restart. Turn off your phone completely, then restart your car's head unit or infotainment system. This clears temporary system states that may be causing conflicts. If the problem persists, completely reinstall the Android Auto app. Uninstall it from your phone, restart the device, then download and install the latest version from the Google Play Store. Bluetooth connection issues can cause crashes. Go to your phone's Bluetooth settings, forget all Android Auto connections, then re-establish them fresh. This eliminates corrupted pairing data. Recently installed apps can interfere with Android Auto. Temporarily disable apps installed around the time crashes began, especially those that access location, audio, or phone functions. Display settings can also cause issues. Adjust your phone's screen resolution to a lower setting and increase the screen timeout to prevent the display from turning off during use. For persistent issues, try cycling the 12-volt power circuit to your car's infotainment system. This involves disconnecting and reconnecting the power supply to reset the system completely. If wireless Android Auto continues to be problematic, consider using a dedicated wireless adapter. These devices provide a more stable wireless connection than built-in systems. Looking toward the future, Android Auto is evolving rapidly. The most significant change is the integration of Gemini AI, which will replace Google Assistant and provide more intelligent conversational interactions. Android Auto will also integrate deeper with vehicle systems. Expect direct control of climate settings, access to vehicle diagnostics, and integration with car-specific features through the Android Auto interface. The app ecosystem will expand significantly, with more navigation apps, entertainment options, and productivity tools becoming available. However, be aware of potential issues like audio stuttering after updates. Finally, Android Auto is converging with Android Automotive OS, the built-in car operating system. This convergence will create a more seamless experience between phone-based and car-native Android systems.